API gravity. I will just use 38 here, but actually it's a water well. Okay, let me ensure, let me emphasize this is the case of water source well. Okay, so we don't need this API gravity, but yeah, for completeness sake, it's I, I will write that. Specific gravity of water one and yeah, just to make it brief, specific gravity of oil, it will be calculated from the API gravity. And the water gradient, it's 100% water cut. So water gradient will be 0 0.433 PSI per foot. And wellhead pressure, it's 130 PSIG. Okay, this is the normal base case wellhead flowing pressure on the field. Okay, so 130. Of course, it will it will depend on each operation. It will depend on each the condition of each field. Okay, but in this case, actually, it's a practical case. And let's say the wellhead pressure it's 130 psig. Okay, so specific gravity of the mixture. So this is a computation there. We will need, we will need the specific gravities from both water and oil and also the water cut. Okay, because this is a water well with 100% water cut. So of course, specific gravity of the mixture will be one and the mixture gradient will be there. One multiplied by the water gradient, which is 0 0.433 PSI per foot. And Flowing bottom hole pressure target. Yeah, let's use this one, this calculated. Okay. And pump intake pressure. Okay, it will be calculated and let's check the formula. So the pump intake pressure is the flowing bottom hole pressure minus the this this one. The distance between this pump setting depth and the mid prefer middle perforation but be careful here be very very careful here it's a hydrostatic calculation so you don't you cannot use measured depth you need to use true vertical depth okay you need to use true vertical depth because it's hydrostatic computation so i need to change this to the true vertical depth version later on i will do that and of course multiplied by the mixture gradient okay and oil rate based on this liquid rate and the water cut of course it's zero because it's no oil it's only water okay so yeah i will do the trajectory calculation so that i have fit bhtvd like this fit bhtvd okay let me pause for a while okay so the true vertical depths are this one this two okay so the distance between the mid perf to the esp pump setting depth is 60 feet in true vertical depth so the pump intake pressure i will change it to this Okay, so the pump intake pressure will be for 1682 PSIG. Okay, so you can see here we have the IPR, the plot here. It's generated using this table. 